What's up? Good morning, Kentucky. It is like 8 a.m. and we're getting ready to head into the Corvette Museum. Check that out. Badass. Love them new Corvettes. Fun fact, all Corvettes, every Corvette in the world is made here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. The Corvette Museum's here and across the street over there is the production plant for the Corvettes. Got the checkered flag parking. These spots are Corvette parking only. Here it is. They have these bricks when you come in. People's names on it. I don't know. Tiles on the walls. Damn, that is badass. Whoa. Is this a VR1 or something? Grand Sport. That's dope. Win me. $10 per ticket. That would be so... Oh, I should do it. $10 raffle ticket. Got three screens in front of it. Ultimate gaming, right? <laughs> I don't know what they got going on here. Gosh, that is dope. This is what we were looking at, ZR1. The carbon hood scoop. We were just talking about this. <laughs> Be badass to have in the Philippines. There's another one. Yeah, I like the spoiler better, just a little bit lower. That's a little bit too high. I don't know, it's still pretty dope, but I think I like this better. Convertible. Oh yeah, those ones don't mess with the red one. That's better. And the video doesn't even compare to seeing it in person. Looking on the screen here. So you got a carbon roof. And a big huge spoiler. That's okay, I could do it. <laughs> I could deal with it. Corvette Museum delivery. Corvette Cafe. Oh yeah, Mammoth Caves also in this area. Uh -oh. Corvette Museum Library and Archives. And then they also have this store. Souvenir gift store. But I think when we go into the museum, you come out through this store. That's usually how these types of places work. Evolution of a legend. Dang, lots of stuff. Definitely need to get a Corvette. Nothing is more American. Yep, I was right. There's the doors right there for coming out of the museum. No re-entry. Toy cars, models, and glasses, all kinds of whatever you can think of. Alright, I'm ready for the real stuff. Let's go into the museum. Alright, here's where we enter inside the museum. America's sports car, yeah. <laughs> the Italians are hating the Corvette for sure because we're crushing them. Beating Lamborghinis with a $100,000 Corvette. Never forget. A lot of these cars don't belong to the museum. People that have their cars will showcase them here in the museum. A lot of these are actually owned by people. Dang. Old school. 1966. Fast facts. If you wanna pause that, you can read it. <laughs> yeah, this thing's like fully customized. Americano. One nation under God. U.S. Marine Corps. Wow, it's a memorial. 
was a time when life was changing fast. But nothing was changing faster than the American automobile. It's empty because we're like the youth of the 1950s here as soon as they open. were ready for something new, something exciting, something that had never existed before. A purely American sports car. Main Street was everybody's street. There was just something special about it. The 1955 model introduced the first production V8 ever set into a Chevy. It flew at 195 horsepower and took the racing circuit by storm, where it competed against the best that Europe had to offer. The Corvette has been and continues to be the most unique driving machine ever made. In the 1960s, America was changing in new ways, and the Corvette changed right along with it. The 1963 Stingray Coupe symbolized the era and featured new independent rear suspension. The 1966 model broke new ground oh, with the redesigned engine. A new legend was born. Well, I guess I can't do the movie thing because my phone keeps going off. So. We're just gonna walk through this hallway. We'll just go through this hallway and see what else there is to look at. Hopefully I lose signal on my phone so it stops going off. <laughs> Corvette Battleship? And brought on a screen, creating optimization by placing class exactly where needed. Oh, there's... The operator monitors... talks about how you make a Corvette out of fiberglass. This means that stronger and lighter weight Corvette body parts exceed the so strength to weight ratio of steel, <laughs> are corrosion resistant, and are oh, finer wow. on the road. I'd still rather have a new one, but these are nice. Old school. Yeah, 1955, 1954, and 1953. 74 looks a lot newer. Well, I guess that's 20 years later. <laughs> Old school shop set up. <laughs> Mechanic shop and gas station. Is that how they were back then? America's only sports car. Wait, wait, wait. wait. St. Louis Corvette assembly plant? I thought every Corvette in history was built in Bowling Green. I guess it didn't start here. That's sad to know. <laughs> so I guess that made what I was saying earlier a lie. I really did think they were all built here from the beginning. I guess not from the beginning, but I'm told all Corvettes are built in Bowling Green. No matter where you, no matter what. I guess the older ones weren't. I think I had that as a toy when I was younger. <laughs> a big long one or something. Something similar to it. Nineteen sixty three ZO six. That one's got some more uh, design to it, huh? Some hard lines and stuff. East engine, LT1. What the heck is that? These must be concept cars. Astro Red. <laughs> Man, that glass window though. 
<laughs> like a Bond villain or something. Um, okay. That's way new. I will take that for sure. This is a 1986 porn set car. That's crazy, because that looks like something current day almost. I guess I can see the oldness in it now, but... Looking at the front. <laughs> That's dope for an 86. It's sad how often they come out with dope concepts and I never make it. I mean, I can kind of see that not making it to this floor, but still, that's pretty dope for 86. Camaro facts. Oh, this is a Camaro. <laughs> Back to the vets. Play modeling. On the down. Touch, but please don't sit. Why touch? So you can see that it's fiberglass? <laughs> Ouch. Wait, 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 let's look at this. Because I'm thinking that's a whole bunch of little pictures that make up a big picture. Yep, I'm right. Getting close and it's just a whole bunch of little pictures. And back here it makes one big picture. I always thought those were pretty neat. Corvette cave and the Skydome sinkhole experience. Last time I was here, this was not here. But where this sinkhole is, so many times I have stood here in the exact spot where this sinkhole happened. Wow. It made a Oh, uh, I guess this is where they're fixing it. Yeah, this is totally different. They made it like a cave in here. <laughs> Lots of Corvettes here. That 81 looks pretty dope. The back of that looks dope. Think pole outline. They filled it all back in. I guess this is one of the cars that fell in the sinkhole. Ouch. Oh, is that a sinkhole car? No way. That can't be. Damn. I didn't think it did damage like that. ZR1. Oh, you can look down it. Yeah, that's a pretty far fall. <laughs> that is a pretty far fall for sure. I have stood in these spots so many times with EJ and man, I'm, I'm grateful it didn't fall while we were standing here. There's people here. GSA, Grand Sport 90. Yeah, that's got some nice curves. Lots of Corvettes here. Car and driver. The one and only. Why is it the one and only? 
the survivor. I think we're almost done, and then we come into a room with a bunch more cars. For sure, that's not a Corvette. 1910 Buick 60 Special Bug. I think we just hit a museum of old cars now. Not Corvettes anymore. Did not expect to see Buick in the Corvette Museum. <laughs> race cars now. Ah, oh, there's a Corvette. That one's a Corvette. The last of them over here. This is just race car history, right? American race car history. 1957 Chevrolet 150 Black Widow NASCAR. So I guess this is a popular car, huh? Not the make, but the actual car itself. Why would they change the design on it from what's in the poster to that? Should have kept it original. A scooter? Corvette scooter. No way. Or Chevrolet racing scooter. Is that really a Chevy scooter? <laughs> I have never seen that before or even heard of it. And lights at front end. That's kind of. That's way different. Well, that thing slammed on the ground. That's not production. It's an Indy car or something. I swear I was told that all Corvettes were made in Bowling Green. This, uh, this ain't making sense to me. This is the last of the cars we get to see here. Time to go. The tour is over. Yeah. Let's get stuck in this thing. Now, you pick out your souvenirs. Does Joshua need a Corvette teddy bear? <laughs> they have baby clothes here. When I grow up, I'm driving a Corvette. Look out. <laughs> it's a onesie. See, what's crazy is if I was staying in America, this is the car we'd be looking at getting next. ZR1 Corvette. I well, I love it in the Philippines, so I'm going back. I don't know if we can get this model in the Philippines, but maybe, maybe we can get a Corvette there. Yeah, if we get one in the Philippines, it'll probably be a model like this style. Not a ZR1 or anything, but still really nice. I just had a comment on my YouTube that said Joseph was born lucky. Let's find out. I'm gonna get a raffle ticket on this. Who knows, might be lucky, got four tickets. We each got one, and I got one from my brother Keith. That would be oh hella God. nice to win, September 1st. Wish me luck. I'm gonna sit in this. I look good in that, huh? No. <laughs> oh yeah. I could do this. There's no roof on it, that's why I'm able to put the camera back this far. It'd be hard to vlog in this. I don't know how to do it when Dan does it, cause I can barely reach my camera away from me. I usually don't join raffles, but I think that one's worth it. <laughs> September 1st, September 1st. I can't figure out how to get out of this. There's nothing to grab or open. <laughs> Somebody let me out, shit. Can you open this? Close the door gently. Okay, but I don't know how to... How do, how do you open? Yeah, there's a little button when you stick your hand in there, but on the inside, I can't find it. Where's the button? Inside that hole, there's a little button you press on the inside of the door. Ah, there we go. That's crazy. I can't figure out how to open it from the inside, though. Wait, I think I... Is that it? No. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how you open it from the inside, though. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't even get out the door. 